One of the things I love about Adelaide is all the old heritage style homes. So whether you've bought one with the intent of doing it up or you're going to buy one and extend because your family's gotten a lot larger, there's a big opportunity to create your dream home. Working on the older style homes can be very rewarding, but there are a few issues you need to be aware of. Before starting work, it's important to know what our homes are made of because over time, building materials have changed quite a bit. An example of this is asbestos. Exposure to asbestos fibres can cause serious health problems, including asbestosis, mesothelioma and lung cancer. With a delay period of 20 to 40 years between the first exposure and the onset of symptoms and diagnosis, you can't be too careful with asbestos fibres. To tell us more is Mandy Kay from Safe Work SA. Homeowners could assume that they have asbestos in the home if it was built or renovated up until the mid-1990s. Asbestos-containing material was included in products up until the mid-1980s. So those products would include asbestos vinyl flooring, such as floor tiles or sheeting, cladding, internal-external, fencing, gaskets around oven doors, piping, so you'll have the asbestos lagging around the pipes, and also on electrical boards. The important thing to remember, if the asbestos is in good condition, it is still safe. But what you must also remember, that you mustn't drill or sand the asbestos to ensure that you don't release the asbestos fibres. So if there are people that are planning a home renovation or an extension, it's important they get an expert in to determine whether or not they have asbestos in their home. I'm with Andrew McMahon from McMahon Services and Andrew, why is it important to get the special removalists in? While there's no legal requirement for homeowners to have a licensed special removal contractor, people should consider the risks of exposure to them and their family, especially young children. During the removal of asbestos, they also need to comply with Environmental Protection Authority transport and disposal requirements. I would highly recommend home renovators call licensed removalists to the job safely. A licensed contractor will determine the needs for the removal and work out the safest possible way to remove the asbestos. Firstly, they will complete an application to Safe Work SA to get an approval prior to the activity being carried out, which is greater than 10 square metres. This yeah. approval will be displayed on the site. Adjoining properties will also be notified. Signage and barriers will be erected to ensure the safe work zone is delineated from public space. Workers will wear protective clothing, disposable suits and approved respirators, glasses, goggles, boots, hard hat if necessary. Plastic will be erected to cover and protect surfaces so they do not become cross-contaminated with asbestos fibres. Air monitoring will be carried out by an independent licensed hygienist to ensure that levels do not exceed national standards. The hygienist will also supply a clearance certificate once the removal is complete and a copy will be provided to the homeowner. Licensed contractors must comply with the National Code of Practice for asbestos removal with all waste being wrapped in plastic and placed in lined sealed drums. Then the waste is taken to the Environmental Protection Authority's licensed disposal facility. Homeowners can find approved asbestos removalists through the Safe Work SA website on safework.sa.gov.au. So if you have any questions about work to be carried out, then you can call Safe Work SA on 1300 365 255, or if it's particularly about asbestos removal, you can call the EPA on 8204 2004.